Hi everyone, I'm Nancy. Welcome to my home, not even the backyard. It's so hot out today that we're inside with the air conditioner on. So anyway, welcome to my home, welcome to my channel, and welcome to my blog, Coffee, Tea, Wine, and Life. So anyway, today it's about the coffee. Yeah, so I got iced coffee today because it's so hot outside, and I've got it in my Paducah wine, my Purple Toad Winery wine glass from Paducah, Kentucky, because it's like the perfect size for iced coffee. So today I have got my Smart Sips coffee in here. I made key lime pie, and then I put it in the freezer while I did some housework, and I got it nice and cold, and then I added some ice cubes and some creamer, put it through the Nutribullet, so I got a nice creamy iced coffee. It is so good. Yeah, I'm going to love sipping on this for a little bit. Yeah, I'm probably going to gulp it. Who am I kidding? But anyway, welcome to uh, my vlog. So anyway, I am still trying to upload my vlog from last night that I finished last night. And it is taking forever. I've had to start and stop on YouTube so many times today that I, I, I don't know what's going on. But hopefully it'll be up soon and it'll be linked up here if we ever get that far. And in it, it's got a little giveaway of a perk box in it. So anyway, if you love coffee as much as I do, and just trying some different flavors, I've got a giveaway going on for that. Get that little video up there. Yeah, so even if you don't like coffee, but you know someone that does, and you enter my video and you win. Well, you don't enter my video, you enter the giveaway on the video. And you win, you can give it to that person that you know that loves coffee. And they are going to say, oh my gosh, you are so sweet. And you're going to say, oh yeah, I am. Yeah. I would totally take credit for just buying something out of the blue for someone like that. But anyway, so good luck, everyone, if you do enter that. And, oh, my gosh, it is, I'm having a hard time getting going, even though I feel like I've done a lot, but I haven't done a lot. So, yeah, so I got sucked into watching Dark Shadows again. I didn't know what I wanted to do last last night when I, I was going to finish, I finished my Friday vlog, and then I did a glossy box video, and then I was like, oh, you know, I'm going to go put my pajamas on and come up with a blanket and grab a little Duraflame and some cardboard stuffing crap or whatever, and just start a little fire in my fire pit outside and sit there with the blanket and my coffee, and I came inside and got my pajamas on. I sat down, and that, that was it. Yeah. But I did put it on Dark Shadows again. I don't know what it is about that show from the 60s. I just love it. And if you didn't grow up with it and you put it on now, you'd be like, oh my God, that takes some five episodes to get out a sentence. Yeah, that, that's the beauty of it. But if you're like me and you watched it in the, uh, the late 60s and maybe early 70s and you would rush home from school to watch it, you know exactly how much you love it. It's just so much fun. <sighs> yes, I walked the show more episodes till about three o'clock this morning i got up about seven and i said you know i've got a lot to do today i want to do this and that and that and who knows what i want to do but yeah i'm gonna get it done today so yeah pulled everything off the bed got my sheets washed and dried put back on got my towels done for the week and i got my dark clothes i did a bleach load of my sneaker socks because they have a way of adding up on you and yeah, so I got them done. And then I put them out to dry in the sun, so I make them maybe extra white. So yeah, and then it was like, when, yeah, now what do I want to do? I'm like, oh yeah, I got to upload my vlog, which is like three hours into it. And I don't know how many times I've had to start and stop it. So yeah, working on that, but I'm sure it'll go through. I think probably it's a busy day for YouTube and people are on it and it's just taking a little bit longer, but that's okay. And uh, yeah, so loving my iced coffee. Yeah, I'm going to have another sip. It's staring at me. This frog is staring at me. So good. But anyway, so didn't do a lot last week. I had high hopes. I had Griffin the week before, and, you know, I, I worked, like, to me, a short hour day was like nine, nine and a half hours, and, you know, I spent time with him, and we did, I, you know, I did a little bit of videos and things like that, but not as much as I would like to, and then Last week I thought, well, I don't have anything to do when I come home. I'm going to catch up on watching some videos. And yeah, that didn't happen. I worked like every day last week, 12 to 15 hours. And by the time I came home, I was maybe, maybe just to get to do like an hour here or two hours there. And, you know, that might only be like four videos that I got to watch. So, but, you know, I'm getting there. I'm trying my best. And yeah, so even if I don't comment all the time on your videos... I do try to catch up and watch them when I can, so just sorry about that. 
but anyway, I do what I can, and I'm excited to do it, and, uh, yeah, so, um, I got my, my Glam Bag X is, um, I think it's in uh, Illinois, so I should probably have that in a couple of days, my yoga club, I did ship on the 9th, and, uh, yeah, it's just taking forever. It's still it's one from California. Now it's in Illinois, and it says I'm going to have it by the 19th. So we'll see. We'll see when it gets here, right? It's no big deal. And um, Ellie, I did ask uh, Miss Ellie if they would move my uh, ship date up a week because I just feel like I get mine and mine ships motor bills and then ships after the 23rd. So if it's something that someone's watching and they say, oh yeah, that looks like a cute outfit. I'm going to try to get that one. But by the time I posted, it could not be available under, you know, the monthly, the monthly pieces that you can get for the $44.95. So it might be in the ones for the past collections for 54 by then. So it's $10 more or it might not be available at all. So we'll see how that goes. And of course, you know, I'm still on my campaign to a hashtag Nancy wants to PR for Fino. Yeah. So anyway, someone used my link. I don't know who. So thank you so much for doing that. I got an email from Vino telling me that someone used my link and I would have $10 to spend in their wine club or their wine shop. So I thought it was a perfect opportunity again. So I forwarded that email back to customer service and I said, I would be a good PR. See, someone used my link. I would be a good PR for you. Hashtag Nancy wants to PR for Vino. Yeah, so fingers crossed. Yeah, fingers crossed on that one. But in the meantime, you know, I was, I think I was talking to Trish from Quilty Mom Trish, or we were chatting, and um, we had mentioned like the creamsicle, how the flavors, the creamsicle, that just, I just love the orange and uh, vanilla swirl cappuccino from my Smart Sips Coffee. And I'm thinking, how good would wine be like that? So I googled uh, creamsicle wine, and there are quite a few people that make creamsicle wine. But I found this company in Pennsylvania that does it, and it's like just a small shop. It looks like it's a small shop, and all the bottles are named after the wines are named after, you know, their children or beloved family members. And I just thought how, how nice, and they had a creamsicle wine. So, yeah. And if you spent $75, you got free shipping. So, you know, Nancy can spend $75 on wine any day of the week, right? So yeah, I got that ordered and um, it shipped and I should have it on Tuesday, but it is going to work on Tuesday. So we'll see how many bottles can make it home. Cause sometimes, you know, you know, I share, you know, I don't drink it all by myself. It's not healthy, you know, so I don't mind sharing. So we'll see what comes home with me on Tuesday. We'll try to get a video done on that. Even if it's an empty bottle, I will tell you how good it was or how lucky it was. I'm like, I'm good like that. And my glam bag, did I, did I mention my glam bag X? Yeah, I'm not really too excited about that. But, um, I don't know, they just, the choices this month just, they were blah for me. You know, and I know there's probably other people, maybe they've got a different profile and they got a really nice suggestions or the three that they got to pick. I did not. And yeah, I was not thrilled. And I mean, the choices that they gave me, I mean, I could go to my local Walmart or drugstore and get something that's the same. So, yeah, I wasn't too thrilled. Um, the only makeup thing that they had in there this month was highlighter, which I don't know how to use. Hey, do you like how I did that little highlighter thing? Yeah. Yeah, it's as good as I get with highlighter. Is, yeah, that's as good as I get with highlighter. But um, they did have some really nice eyeshadow palettes that were offered to other people. So I put some in my add-ons, and we'll see. If I, if I fall in love with them when I see them in person, then I will keep them. And if not, then... They may end up in a giveaway, but I won't make any promises until I see it in person. And I didn't mention it, but I'm wearing pajamas. Yeah. So I got my, you, you wouldn't know it because I've, I've got jewelry on. Yeah, I've got jewelry on. And yeah, so I look like I'm dressed up, but I'm not. I'm in my pajamas. So this is another set that I got from QVC from anybody. And I don't think I've ever tried their pajamas, but it's like a 90, 90... 92% polyester, 8% spandex, just really, really soft and comfortable. It's just like this black little V-neck Kenley type sleeveless top, right? And the pants, I don't know if you can see it, but they've got all kinds of like martini glasses here and margarita glasses, pinks and purples and yellows and teal. I just thought it was so cute, so I just had to get it. Yeah, they're nice, soft and comfortable. So loving my PJs and happy to be doing another opening to my vlog with bare PJs on. But if someone comes to the door, here I am all dressed up with uh, jewelry on. They're not going to know I'm in PJs unless I say, hey, do you know I'm in my PJs? 
and I'm not going to do that. But anyway, I think that's about it for the vlog. So I just want to thank you guys again for stopping in. You guys are amazing. And I am so excited to have you stop in and visit and spend some time with me. So anyway, I hope you go out and have a great week. Don't forget to check out that video up there. And uh, um, good luck if you do enter my little giveaway. And we will chat again towards the end of the week. Bye-bye, everyone. Take care. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Friday night. Technically, it could be Saturday morning. So, anyway, I work till about um, 11 tonight, and I, oh, I was pooped. But I came home, and I wasn't in the house like five minutes when we lost power. So I've been just uh, went around, got the candles on, and it probably took about a half hour for it to come back on. But in the meantime, that half hour was like with the air conditioner off and being so humid outside, it was like the inside of the house it's already up to 85 so I got my air conditioner going um, full blast <laughs> trying to get it nice and cold in the house you might hear it humming it's on the side of the house over here and it's just too hot to even sit inside so hopefully we had a breeze earlier so I'm hoping that this breeze comes back but anyway I hope that you all had a great week um yeah it's um I had posted a couple of videos, um, you know, videotaped them over the uh, weekend, so they posted all week, but I really didn't get a chance to come on. I think I maybe just did an hour here. I think I worked about every night till at least at least 10 o'clock, and then tonight, because I really don't want to go in tomorrow, because I just want to spend a part of the day, major part of the day on, on YouTube. I still have some unboxings to do, like the, uh, the Glam Bag X that came in, so... Like I said, I'm not real excited about that, but I did get some extras in that, and um, I'm more excited about the extras, but I bought the extras mainly because I want to do another giveaway, but I've got some giveaways going, so that's going to have to wait, but I tried to post it up here, so I've got the one for the uh, park box, but, uh, you know, I'll do the, you have to watch that video that's up there, and um, yeah, I'll pull that winner on, well, I'll put the name of the winner. I'm not going to, you know, literally go and pull the winner. But, yeah, so we'll uh, draw for the winner on September 1st. And then when I did my Sensi unboxing, I got that little uh, diffuser that with the USB diffuser that you can plug into your laptop while you're sitting at work. Or if you've got a cubicle, you can use it in a car or just a small office. If you've got people that really don't like the other fragrances and you just want to maybe try something. Uh, so... Yeah, so I got that one going on. I don't know if I can link to, but if I can, I will uh, post that Sensi video up there too. And of course, all the standard rules would, would apply that you have to be publicly subscribed to my channel. You have to like and comment in the video and use whatever the uh, code words were that you'll see in those videos. But yeah, so I got some wine this week and I did actually, you know, finish the creamsicle wine. It was, it was good. Um, when I was drinking here outside that night and it was just so, so hot and humid and muggy. It wasn't really that it was hot, it was just really muggy and just, uh, oh, it just felt so kind of soothing and just, it was like a burst of a summertime drink. It was really, really nice. The next night I went to have a little bit in the house, maybe after work, maybe it could have been 1130, but it was cooler in the house and it just it didn't taste the same. And then the third night I came out here again and had had it and it was like, I don't know, maybe some drinks it just needs to be muggy just to enjoy the summertime flavor of it all. So, but I am going to try to find another creamsicle just to see if I can get a different taste for how some of those wines are made and their the taste. But I am looking forward to trying those other ones that I got. What am I having tonight? <sighs> I think it, it's so muggy still. And it's late that I really didn't want to have a strong drink. I didn't want to have some wine. So I just made a Captain Morgan's and some diet cream soda from A&W. So cheers, everyone. That is good. I love cream soda. I probably didn't even need the Captain's in here. Just the cream soda is awesome. So, yeah. And then I got my yoga club. And I cannot wait to try that on and share that one with you. The top is really, really cute. And so, yeah, looking forward to trying that on. My Miss Ellie shipped. It did ship earlier than it usually ships. Um, so I'm excited that it will ship. And, um, well, it 
they said it shipped yesterday but the label it still just says label created so so we will see on that but anyway I'm having fun with those kind of clothes I think I got to the point in life where I just want to be comfortable maybe because it's just been uh, you know first with COVID starting being you know practically the only one in the office for almost a year and and now it's like I've lost the will to to want to dress up I just want to be comfortable so maybe there's nothing wrong with that right I mean you know I'm decent looking I suppose you know and when we have company coming I do you know make an effort to look a little bit better than usual sometimes that's harder than others to look good you know but I try thank goodness for the beauty boxes because they're helping quite a bit and yeah so just going to try to keep this one short here comes a breeze it feels good but anyway um good luck on those drawings that i have if you haven't checked them out i hope that you do check out those videos up there and uh, and enter i'd love to have you guys win and just uh yeah, and it's something that I love both. I love the Scentsy products. I love sharing it. I love, you know, I love my perk boxes. I love my coffee. So to give away something, again, that I love just really, really means a lot to me. And like I said, when I when I open my glam bag, I will show you the extras. And um, we'll put those aside for some maybe other giveaways, maybe later on in the month of September or something. Just, uh, you know, just, just little thank yous to you guys for stopping in and spending part of your day with me. Uh, oh, here's that breeze again. Oh my gosh, that feels so good. <sighs> so, anyway, wherever you are, I hope you are safe. I know the uh, Hurricane Henri or whatever is moving up the uh, Atlantic seaboard, so it probably will hit New England sometime this weekend. So, to my family and friends up in New Jersey and Connecticut and Massachusetts, stay safe, everyone. You know, I love you guys. And uh, to my friends that are there on the uh, Eastern Seaboard, too, from my YouTube family, so you guys be safe, too. Uh, we were supposed to get some severe storms today. We got, like, a sprinkle where I am, and but I, I did see a lot of red moving through around us. You know, and someone once said we've got a nuclear power plant um, two towns over from me. And someone said at one time that they can see how the storms kind of come, come and go, and then they go around it. And sometimes I think, you know, and I thought maybe that was a conspiracy theory, but sometimes I think she's right because sometimes it looks like a storm's heading straight towards us and then it just kind of goes around us. So if you know if that's true, well, I don't know. Can they make energy fields at different times during the round nuclear power plants or is that just is that an old wives' tale or a new wives' tale because it wasn't, they didn't have nuclear power plants when I was growing up that I know about anyway. And... Yeah, so I'm starting to ramble. I'm tired. I'm thirsty. I'm hoping the power doesn't go off again, but, you know, if it does, I will be sleeping out on the deck. At least I have a place to go. You know, there's a lot of people that don't, that are displaced with, you know, the earthquakes and things going on in Haiti and Afghanistan, and there's just so much trouble everywhere else in the world. So to be without power for a half hour... I think I can put on my big girl panties and deal with deal with it. And you know, if I my eye starts to melt, I'll be drinking a lot. So yeah, now I'm going to say goodbye. So anyway, take care, everyone. I hope you guys have a great week, and we will chat again soon. Bye bye, everyone.